Today I'm going to be showing you how to install LED lights in your cup holders. Now I've chosen the color blue. They're 5 millimeter bulbs. I got them from this website right here, osnium.com. There's their phone number. Uh, very cheap prices, uh, very good product. And uh, they will return, you know, if you have a problem with it, they will re uh, send you another one free of charge, no shipping costs, nothing. And uh, no questions asked. And they're really good people. Next, you're going to need some of these type of connectors. They will be a flat one, and then the, the spade, the spade and the male and female, basically. Not to sound dumb. Um, so you'll need some of those closed, preferably like this, um, so that when you're connecting wires, depending on how you're wiring, uh, if you're just wiring it to like your uh, lights when you turn on your you know dashboard lights at night that it comes on, or if you want to connect it to a switch like I'm going to, which I have this switch here, toggle, and uh, it has a, uh, a blue LED in the end of it. I know you can't see it very well, but and then make sure you have enough wire to run. Uh, you know, make sure you have enough to go wherever you're going to put your switch. Or if you're not going to put your switch, you know, just put your length of wire that you need, but make sure you have enough. It always pays to have a lot of wire. Now your next step is to take your center console apart, um, which is in two pieces. This piece right here will come off first, and you unbolt the side screws on both sides, and then this part will come out. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull this out, and we'll skip to the next part. Okay. Once you get the center console out, which I, you see I have out here, um, what you're going to want to do is pull out the four screws. There's two on each side. There's one, two, and then there's two on the other side of this cup holder. And you're going to want to pull it out, pull those screws out and put them in a safe place, and uh, pull it out, and then we'll start our next step on preparing the cup holder for the LEDs. Okay, now that you've got your cup holder out, Make some marks of where you want these light bulbs to go. And I've marked, you can see there, a little blue marker there, and a little blue marker over here. And if you see there, exactly the same distance apart, and I measured it three inches apart for mine. Uh, it's an inch and a half center out. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and drill my holes out. Now I'm going to drill the hole out. Clean here a little bit. Now I'm going to drill out my second hole. Let's see here, turn around a little bit better for the camera. And as you can see, this LED bulb, a 5mm, should slide right in there, no problem. And you can see the light bulb down inside there, yeah, and you can see there's a hole on the other side, and uh, you can see the two holes that were that are made for the LED bulbs. I just need to uh, install the other LED bulbs. Also, it would be good to add some either super glue right here and then maybe some silicone around it just to keep it you know protected um, but uh, just a couple of ideas extra you could do there to make it more durable and secure now I'm a firm believer in heat shrinking and soldering um, because nothing better than having a solder joint uh, versus you know twisting it together and it possibly coming apart through vibration or anything else that could happen and the wire gets pulled slightly and it tugs it out of place and then, it, and then you have a short in the wire. So what you're going to do... Okay. I don't know if my soldering iron is hot. Oh, there we go.
Okay. Wire two. I'm gonna get the wire nice and hot. And the solder on there. It's all soldered. Now all we have to do is heat shrink it. Okay, now we're going to heat shrink the first set of wires. Set. About even. And there you have it. Soldered and heat shrinked wires. All good to go. Okay, now it's time to test. I have this little device that came with some. Uh, LEDs I had bought at uh, the auto parts store one day, and it was just like a thing you, you test with, you know, to make sure you like the color. Um, so I kept the little box with the batteries in it to uh, use it to test lights, make sure after I install them that they, they're still working. And uh, here's the end result. That's me just pressing the button over and over. It's not blinking. <laughs> Although that would be kind of a cool feature, but not for what my application is going to be. But uh, now that we've got this going, uh, I'm going to go ahead and seal up the bulbs in the back and uh, put some silicone and glue on them. And I'm going to go ahead and install this back in the car and start getting the wiring done. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find one of these uh, blank spaces that you have that has nothing in it in your dashboard or in your center console. Drill out a hole uh, with a, looks like it would be a half inch diameter drill bit. Well, that's what's going to work with my switch anyway. Um, then you drill it out, and then you place your switch in there. Now, your switch on the side will tell you which side is on and off. So you want on to be up and off to be down. So make sure you keep in mind how this goes, how this actually goes in. And uh, then you go ahead, take this, and find your center piece for your uh, center screw lip on it and screw it down tightly there you go it's not too tight I'm gonna actually have to take it apart a little bit later but there's your switch and you'll just plug that right into your dashboard with your wires plugged in behind it and you'll be able to turn your LEDs on and off with the switch this is if you choose to do a switch here we go, there's my cup holder installed and I have the wires from the LEDs running underneath and up under there and if you can see there's the wire hanging down right there, I just need to zip tie that up there and it runs across here, it's zip tied over here a little bit then it comes down to there and then I already have a spade connector from the fuse box with constant uh, 12 volt power uh, running right there so that I can hook that to my switch. Um, also, want to make sure that you careful when you're working in your fuse box that you don't unplug any of those important uh, harnesses on accident. I've known some people to do it, so just uh, be careful of them and make sure you press them back in just in case before you close and button everything up. Okay, as you see here, I've already went ahead and wired my switch. Um, got a negative for the ground, negative coming off the LEDs right here on the end. And right there, if you see, it says that it's for the ground. Center is for the load, and the outer one is for the power. So I went ahead and marked that one with a P. You can see it's my little messed up P. And I just put an L on there for load. And that wire is uh, running off of the LED. And then this one here, uh, the power, there we go is uh, running off of the 12 volt that's coming out of the dashboard. So we're going to go ahead 
And we're going to go ahead and pop this in the dash. And that's a little stiff there. There we go. Here's my switch. Now I turn it on. The LED comes on. Oh, I have to put that in a little bit better, huh? Alright, so there's the LEDs on, which means the lights should be on, and voila, the lights are on. Now, I noticed that most people put these LEDs in very, uh, in the very bottom in the center so that they shine upward. But I wasn't really a big fan of that, and I kind of wanted two little blue spotlights, and I didn't want the light shining straight up. I wanted it to be more of like a comfortable light in the car because it's going to be on when I'm driving at night. But as you can see, it, you can kind of see that it still makes the bottle blue when you put it in. Okay, now my center console is all put back together again. And as you can see, I've got the water bottle in there. Um, lights are not turned on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and close the doors and uh, show you what it looks like with it a little bit darker anyway. Alright, so you can see the LEDs in my car a little bit. I just went ahead and closed my garage up a little bit. You see the LEDs that I put on my floorboards or underneath the dash for uh, floor lighting. Kind of give it a, a nice look. You see more there. And now for the LED cup holders. So you can see how that looks. The bottle still lights up pretty bright, even though it's not shining straight up on it, which is good because I don't really want to, but I like the little light down there that uh, it emits enough light for me to see when I'm putting a drink down there and I don't miss putting a drink down there, which has happened to me before. So, um, but also gives me a little bit of accent lighting that I definitely needed to have in my car, I thought. But with the bottle in, it looks pretty cool. And uh, of course, the switch itself, look how bright that LED is. I mean, woo. Pretty bright. That's it for my video on how to install LED cup holder lights.